goats back in my garage. So I'm here at the pawn shop because everybody, I get at least two or three comments a video about how, why don't you take your stuff to the pawn shop? It's, it's, you get more money for your stuff at the pawn shop. Here, let me show you. So when I dropped the transmission in the junk pile, I got close to 30 bucks. Like when I threw it in the garbage bin. Let's go check it out. Oh, look, a dollar. A freaking dollar. Yeah, good deal, guys. A freaking dollar. I Like, like where are you guys coming from? <laughs> like, seriously, a whole dollar. Yeah, that's a lot more money than I earned by throwing it in the garbage bin. A dollar. A freaking dollar. <laughs> and know what the worst part is? Even as a core, if this transmission was completely shot, like we're talking all the gears gone, all that stuff, like maybe the torque converter shot, it's still worth more than a buck, and I get 19 bucks from the trash bin. Last one I got like 34. I don't know what it's about. But anyway, the point is, why would I wander all the way down there for a dollar when I could drop it in there for 19? Please explain this to me. Please tell Scapegoat why you think he's an idiot. <laughs> and you guys are smart. Oh, I'm kidding. You guys are funny. Okay. I know you guys, someone's just trolling me. And now, now I'm upset. I'm upset and I'm 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 angry. No. <laughs> okay, so I made a bit of money. This barrel's going. I hate this barrel. It's just always in the way. Go away, barrel. All right. So I okay, here's the deal. So as you can see, he is purple, which I thought. I painted this door, so now it matches. I think we're good everywhere else. So we're going to throw this guy into the garage because we want to actually start working on the broken bits and pieces, which as you can see, the steering column is one of those things. So uh, let's go in first. Let's pull her into the garage. Here we go. Let's see here. All right. So I decided based on all the community comments. Uh, there we go. I'm going to call this car the Jacob Purple Rito because why not? <laughs> Help him in the wall. Okay. Okay. Jacob Purple Rito. I think we should probably like everything shot here. So first of all couple things are going to happen. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to complete the whole car today, but we are definitely going to do some work on this thing because it needs some mechanical work. Body was in great shape, and the mechanics aren't that bad underneath. Like, if you look at it, it's not the absolute worst. Like, we've seen far worse than this. So, we got this one control arm is shot. Why is it bouncing around? Stop it. This one control arm is shot. There was something else that was shot. I might swap out the pumpkin to something with uh, like a lock differential. But so far, uh, this looks like it's going to be super easy to fix. Now, the engine's a whole other story. But there's a transmission that needs fixing and a bunch of other crap like that. But we're just going to take this out. Now that I've earned my entire dollar. Okay, so what is this? This is just a upper control arm? Yeah, okay. So we're just going to order up an upper control arm. Do, 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 upper control arm. We're going to buy that. It's only 17 bucks. We'll throw that in. And that solves our rear suspension woes. It went into the trunk. It definitely went into the trunk. You son of a... This is why this game is hard to play sometimes and record. Because you're all like... Also, it looks like that this is, like, in the tire, and I don't like that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just pull this back just slightly here. There we go. Okay. So, it ended up in the trunk. I just... No, there. It's over there now. Okay. Well, whatever. Bring it back up. Don't fall off the lift. You're sliding backwards. I can see you. All right. Let's go put this on. That's the old one. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Come on down. There we go. Okay. Open the trunk up. There it is. I can see that the gas tank also needs a replacing at the moment. All right. 
Leave that open. We're going to go back up. Oh, look, I can just hit up and do other things while I'm doing it. Okay. All right. All right, so we're going to... Where's the good one? There it is. This time, don't end up in the trunk, dickhead. Just, just get up. Just please, please. Oh, it did it. Okay, there we go. One in and the other in. Okay. So moving up the body here... I can swear that looks rusty, but I can't see any. I, I should pull all the wheels. I really should. All right. So now my favorite job in the world, because it's super easy, replacing the transmission. So I make all my bucks. I'm basically become a transmission shop at this point. Okay, let's see here. I can just see the top of that one. That's cool. All right. And then we should just be able to get these three. And that one. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to sell this for the whopping $19 instead of the $1 at the pawn shop. All right. So all the people in the comments need to apologize immediately. Uh, my guess is, honestly, is what happened is uh, he probably changed the pricing a bit so people weren't ripping up. They probably could used to get more. But <laughs> just, I went over there, wandered all the way down there to my transmission. I was like, oh, I should use my trailer. And I was like, nah, I'll just run one down. See what it's worth. See what the difference is. Because if it was like 22 bucks compared to like 19, then it's like, ah, it's not really worth the time to run. I might as well just waste the three bucks so I can stay in my shop. But no, I ran down there, all the way down there, <laughs> carrying a transmission. And what did I get? They want to give me a dollar. And that is unacceptable amounts of money for that. Okay, there we go. This is good. This is this is looking all right. Now, I did see, if I remember correctly, I okay, let's bring this down some. One of these is bad. One of the knuckles, maybe? Yeah, the knuckle there is bad. So we're going to pull the... Okay, I think we need our pry tool for that, maybe? Pry tool, pry tool, pry tool, pry... Oh, no. I've misplaced my pry tool. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. What, what are you doing? What are you all doing hanging out here? I feel a little bit exposed. Okay, what happened to the blue car? We had to solve traffic again. This is what I do. The city is paying me, apparently, to, to like, relieve traffic problems as well. All right, so let's, let's get you out of the way. Let's go that way. Okay, there you go. Everybody else can have more accidents okay there you go come on everybody do you want to turn left so bad is that what this is go that way oh my goodness okay you go back into your lane don't run into my car fool there we go okay so traffic has been i'm gonna leave my traffic calming box out here all right so <laughs> That knuckle, oh God, what the heck happened? Okay, I think I might need this to pry that hubcap off. Oh, there it is, all right. There we go, hubcap on the ground. All right, so where's my wrench? Wrench, this is what happens. This is the whole thing. I put things down in stupid places and then I lose them. What? Okay, I'm, I know I'm looking at it, and I'm just not seeing it. Where? There it is. Okay, <laughs> I know it was around here somewhere. All right. That's the wrong tire. All right, so let's take this tire off. Oh, my God. I totally took the wrong tire off. God damn it. Or the wrong hubcap off. God damn it. All right. Take this off. Thanks. Okay, grab this. Let's pull this tire. Finally, we're getting some real work done here. All right, grab this tire. Pull this off. All right, you stay up there with the radio and the Bondo. And then we're going to go... Okay, so the whole knuckle is shot. So... Knuckle off. Knuckle off. All right, let's see here. I'm going to remove the brake caliper. I need a screwdriver. 
screwdriver to get that brake disc off. I know people told me they this is a pretty common thing. Like, man, I've, I've only ever seen it on, like, super expensive cars. None of the cars I've ever worked on had a retaining screw on it, except for a couple of chevs. Okay, now, the knuckle's still being held on by that caliper there, I think. So we're going to remove the brake line. Stop bouncing around like a fool. And, oh, there we go. All right, so what's holding you on still? Is it is it this castle nut here? Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to remove that. Pop off, please. Pop, thank you. So this hub carrier for the front left needs to be replaced so we're gonna do that so where we got here is this uh is this, what is it what would be under suspension no probably engine because no nope, maybe it is under this is brakes maybe nope suspension ah hub carrier front left got it all right so go stick that back in like that there we go that's looking better all right let's tighten that up one and two and three okay now we can put where is it now ah there it is okay we gotta put the hub back in torque that down we'll put the brake disc back on Get my screwdriver for that. All right. Okay, so this takes care of most of the... Well, I guess the, the shocks could be shot, but we're going to worry about that later. So let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Brake caliper. Oh, I had it. There we go. Okay, so that's just this wrench. Grab this. All right, that's up in there now. And then we just got to get the two back bolts. There we go. So that side is somewhat fixed. It's you I'm tripping all over. Come here. Get up on the table. All right. So that looks relatively fixed. I think that uh, that'll work for now until I decide where this build is going. It's going to be a performance sedan. All right, so let's bring it down. It's time to go investigating the engine bay and see what's up. All right, down you go. Perfect. All right, so we definitely have some freaking problems up here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so the valve cover is not great. The wires are shot. But the more we can get away with just leaving here, like I definitely want the performance parts on it. Oh God, I gotta, I gotta, okay, this thing's in the way for sure. Off you go. Air filter's good though, that's that's excellent. But I'm probably gonna swap out to the, to the dual car, but this will give me free spare parts really. All right, like a, like a new carburetor, for example. All right, let's see. I just want to get at that bolt, please. Thank you. Okay, so the valve train looks good. Though this this pipe here is shot. I'll take that off. This hose is all wrecked. All right. Radiator looks okay. No leaks. Alternator shot. Okay, let's see here. You know what? I want to get that belt off first. Because the belt is still good, so we'll keep that. All right, let's get into this radiator business. Let's see, take that out. And there we go. Where'd it go? There it is. Now, I can't see the pistons um, unless I take the head off or I go underneath and remove the oil pan. So, we'll get rid of these wires, too, while we're here, because these are dinked. All right, so, so far, oh, what do we got here? Is this, a, is this a bad fuel line? I think that's a bad fuel line.
Oh, yeah. The shot. The fuel line is shot. Okay. Oh, and the power steering pump is not doing good, boys. We've got to get that out as well. I forgot about that. I saw that underneath. Okay, well, that's we can get at the tie rods and all that later. Um, this wire looks all right. That hose looks okay. But we want to upgrade this to a full performance job, right? Oh, we should pull. Spark plugs actually don't look bad. Now, the question is, do I remove the head? Or do I remove the oil pan? Because now they've got caps. Ugh. Let's do the oil pan and look up from underneath and see what's going on. We're going to replace oil anyway, so we might as well see what's up underneath. And that way I can also get out that steering rack while I'm under here. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, all right. All right, so we're going to go underneath, get the oil pan. Let's bring this down a little bit. Let me see here. I can't remember how the steering rack comes off. All right, let's see. I haven't actually done that many of them, so I'm assuming I got to come at it from the tie rod. Let's get both tires off. I should have known better than to put this one back on. All right, so let's see here. I think... I'm going to move that tie rod. And try to get at this tie rod. Oh, I should just bring it down. Just bring it down. Stop being stupid. All right, here we go. I can't, I can't seem to, I just can't seem to get at it. Okay, there we go. Now this will remove, oh, wait a minute. I could have just, yeah, we just pulled the tie rods off there. I didn't know, the nut wouldn't show up. Let go, please. All right, so we need a new steering rack. Let's grab that. We're not going to install it just yet until we remove the oil pan, but it's a necessity to have. So we got good tie rod ends. I'm not concerned about that. Steering rack, 172 bucks. Got it. All right. So we got a new steering rack, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Let's get this back up a bit. All right, oil pan, you're coming off. I, I feel like underneath this is going to be a mess. But the car was reasonably priced, so... Maybe it won't. You know, I'm just going to rip the whole thing off. Screw drain in the oil. There we go, and then a couple of front ones. All right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I figured something like this would be. No, get out of here, fool. No, what did, what did I just undo? God damn it. I'm going to have a loose bolt somewhere and not know where it was. One of the pistons has now fallen out of the car um, for some reason. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Could you just. I understand you're not cooperating. I get it. You don't want to cooperate today. Just go over here and hang out, please. How did one piston fall out? And I definitely feel like the transmission may be holding it. Ugh. Holding it in. All right. Well, transmission comes out easy enough, so we'll do that. All right. Bam and bam, 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 and bam. Transmission is out. So now we got one piston floating around over here. This piston is shot. Get that out. Clutch off here. Okay, I can't quite see the top, so we're going to bring it down. And then see about pulling the clutch. All right, let's see here. Got you out and you out, right? Is that everything? Good. Excellent. Okay. 
There we go. Thank you. Take the flywheel off. Off you come. Oh my God! Why? 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 Okay, <laughs> just, just, just. I keep accidentally hitting bolts behind other bolts, and it's causing me some stress. Okay, let me see. Here. Okay, I gotta. I just gotta get underneath, please. Thank you. What have I disconnected that was important here? Because there's something that I just disconnected. Okay, you know what? It's not up far enough. Up. Thank you. Okay, there. Crankshaft is out. I was missing that one part. So we need a new crankshaft. And I feel like... Uh, four pistons, because, you know... I don't, okay, here we go. I'm just bouncing around like an idiot. So here's a mess of parts that have come out of this thing. I'm going to assume this clutch is shot. Or the flex plate, anyway. Just because it's brown? All right, so we'll get a new flex plate. We'll put it into... I got one good piston here, but I think I'll just replace all the pistons because it's easier. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, but we need a new crankshaft. Are all the pistons out of their perspective holes? I think so. They're just floating around the top of the engine bay for some reason. All right, no problem. So, we need crankshaft and we need pistons. Let's see here. Crank. Where are you, crankshaft? There you go. 104 bucks for a freaking crankshaft. Okay, let's see. Pistons. Pistons. Where are you, bud? Now, if everything is in alphabetical order like it should be, it should be GFP. Pistons. Okay. We'll buy three pistons because the other one was still somewhat decent. Now, there could be other decent ones up top just floating around on top of the engine, but we're not going to worry about that. All right, so let's put in this crankshaft. All right, we got to tighten it down, which I did have my wrench a second ago. Where'd I put it? Ah, here we go. All right, it's nighttime again in the world of my uh, my garage. All right, so let's tackle you up. Okay, tack you up. And you up. Now, I realize this is counterintuitive. Because I should be putting the pistons in first, but they seem to be okay going in after the crankshaft's in, so I don't want to cause any problems. So we're just going to put the pistons in from this side. Bam. All right. Where's the other piston? All right, here we go. I'm stepping all over things again. Okay, it's time to clean up a little bit. Bam. And other piston. Uh, which one did I miss? Is it just the rear one that I need still? Bam. Okay, where's my wrench? Wrench? Oh, there you are. Excellent. Okay, so... Tighten you down. One piston. Two pistons. Three pistons. Four. All right. That's tied down. But I did loosen something that I'm not sure what it is at this point. Well, here's one of the... Oh, this piston was good. All right, well, it's trash now. Two bucks. Bet you get 12 cents for it over at the other shop. All right, so it's looking good. At least this is all, yep, that's torqued in. We got that one, and we got that one. All right, so that's in, that's in. No oil pickup. We just got to put the pan back on. All right, put the pan back on. Up we go. Okay. Now, I hate putting on oil pans because you got to remember where you started. So, we started there. <laughs> now, we're going to work our way around the back. All right. Here we go. We're doing this great. Now, that should be all of them. Just double check. Yeah. Okay. So, we're good there. So I also took off the water pump, and, or the, I took off the crank pulley, is what I did. Okay, so we're going to put the crank pulley back on. Wait a minute, you're not the crank pulley. You're the clutch plate, you're the crank pulley. All right, crank pulley back on. 
And you're down. All right, so the belt is still good, but we need to replace the alternator. Okay, let's see here. Oil filter actually looks fine. I know you're supposed to change them, but it looks all right. So that's good. So now we need, what do we need here? It was just a clutch plate, right? Pressure plate. We need a new pressure plate. So grab that pressure plate. P, 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 P. All right. So I don't see. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's probably under C for clutch. Okay, there we go. It's only 20 bucks. That's not bad. Wait a minute. I didn't buy what I. Okay, this is right, right? Oh, yeah, that one's just brown. That's why it's confusing me. Okay. So that's going to go up in there after we get the flywheel on. And then this is going good so far. Flywheel. All right. Clutch, where are you? Oh, there we go. Okay, now, new pressure plate can go on. Oh, I can see them all this time. Good, excellent. Okay, here we go. There we go, and then the transmission can go back in. Now, that should take everything on this side of things fixed. Now, once I do this up, you know what I never did check was how good the battery was. And that's in, and then these two transmission mounts, and then these three drive shaft bolts. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's get rid of some of this junk. All right, so the steering knuckle shot. Get out of here. I got to put you all back together <laughs> with my new uh, power steering rack, but that's fine. This can go. And this pressure plate can go. All right, so we got a new... steering rack over here. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. I was thinking about chicken. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can mount these before. Oh, I did. I just did. What the heck? Where's my wrench? Wrench. Wrench? Okay, there you are, wrench. Oh, yeah, I gotta get rid of that piston, too. Grab this and stick that there. No, okay, it's not gonna work here for some reason. Got it. No, it didn't work. Got it. All right. Perfect. All right. Here we go. So now the steering rack can go back in, but that is really broken up there. The steering column. Like this, this bit here. So let's lower it down and check out how to get that out. Oops, that's the wrong button. There we go. We'll get it down. We'll take a look at how to get the column out. What what did I what did I just do? What did I just do? This is the problem. All the way just it just it just let me undo something. And what was it? I don't know. Could be any freaking thing for all we know. Nobody knows. And then there's no way to check for loose bolts. It's just driving me insane. Okay. All right. Okay. You just don't want to open your door, eh? That's cool. You know what? We'll just look through your body. Okay, here's the... I just got to see. I just got to see the other side. Just got to see a little bit of that screw. All right, steering column is out with the steering wheel attached. So we're needing a steering column, but now I've loosened something up and I don't know what it is. And I can't go over this thing bolt by bolt. Ugh. Let's see here. Look at this. It's under here for some reason. I'm going to buy a steering column. All right. 
So new steering column can go in there, but like, Jesus, like this game sometimes. All right, here we go. Put you in. What? What's that? I don't know what that is. All right, looking through the body. I wasn't sure what that is. Okay. Perfect. Look for loose bolts, because I, I don't I don't even know what I hit. Okay, also, where's where where the old steering column go? There it is. Okay. How do we get Hmm. How do I, I thought the steering wheel was on by a bolt? I think that bolt is... Well, okay, just relax. Dude, just... just Okay, just fucking... That is not okay. Just chill! Alright, bud? Just relax. Don't... Why? 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 You know what? You know what? I'm just... Screw, screw it. Screw it. Wait a minute, I can see it. Okay, there we go. I was gonna... No! Okay, there we go. Have it a day. Give me that. I need the steering wheel back, like immediately. I saw it for a second. Where is it? Oh, 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 oh. Perfect. Okay, now where's the wrench? Okay, just gotta find the right spot. Got it. Okay, I think that's it. I really want to know what bolt I loosened up though, because it could be anything. For all we know, I've I've disconnected some important part. And we don't even know. And it's stupid. Okay. That's that. Now I say we we should probably run a new fuel line. Why am I still crouching? There we go. Okay. Whoa, what what happened? Why is that? Okay. Something has shifted and the car is tippity toppeting around. All right, that's cool. So let's, um, we need a new valve cover for sure, but let's get her down. There we go. All right. That's another piston we can get rid of. All right, there we go. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, I got no front wheels on it. All right, that's cool. Um, I think it's time to start upgrading, but until I find my wrench, there it is. So we're going to remove the carburetor. Oh, it's raining. I love the sound of the rain in this game. Carburetor's off. Intake manifold's off. I think we're good to go there. So let's go get the performance carburetor. Let's see. Engine. Intake manifold. There is a special intake. Performance carburetor. Here it is. And I don't believe this one even needs an air cleaner. There we go. Look at that. Okay, let's see here. Where was I? Ah, wrench. Wrench. Okay. You can go in. You're in. You're in. You are in. Okay. Fuel line's still good, but we do need the the lower fuel line. So let's see here. F, G. Okay, here we go. Fuel line. Buy that. Because we had to take the other one out because it was shot. Where, where, oh, yeah. It's over here. Okay. So let's see here. Grab this. This is like weirdly only held in by one bolt. And it goes right there. All right. Uh, wrench. Wrench. Okay. And this is the only bolt that holds it in is right there. C. 
so. Is everything okay on the top end of that engine? Yeah, we're fine. All right, so. We now have a spare carburetor. Which can go on our shelf. Not to mention this intake manifold, which I doubt is ever going to come up as a job, but we have it. We also need the alternator. We still have the alternator belt. So we need an alternator. Let's see here. Oh, we also need a fuel tank. Okay, so... Alternator, alternator. I'm just looking through the parts here, seeing if there's anything I'm missing for performance stuff. Oh, here we go. I got to get the fuel pump in the distributor as a performance version as well. So, let's, where's my... Ah! This is like... This game is basically just find the wrench. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see here. Got to get a little bit closer. So this is your standard fuel pump, apparently. And then we have the performance fuel pump. All right, now we'll tack that back on. Perfect. So then, what else did we get? The performance fuel pump. Oh, and the performance distributor. That's right. Okay. So get this distributor over here, and then we will pull the old distributor. Should just be a single bolt or screw underneath it. Uh. This can go. Not that these parts are bad, but now I have a better one. All right, here we go. Performance distributor, in you go. All right, so that's all upgraded performance-wise as we're going to get. We need a new valve. Oh, my God, just friggin' stop. All right, here we go. We need a new valve cover, obviously, new wires, so we'll grab those. Let's see here. Valve, 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 valve cover. Valve cover. Well, I guess they call it a cylinder head cover. Same thing. And we also need new wires. I think we also need one radiator hose uh, as well. Whoops. There we go. Put this on. All right. Where's my where's my wrench? Wrench. Wrench. So we'll do these on like this. This on like this. I like the rain lasts longer now too. That's good. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. Spark plug wires. They can go on. All right. We need an alternator. Which is here in the, the great machine. There it is. All right. All right. Alternator. Bam. Okay. Put this in. Bam. Okay. Oh, there's the wrench. Okay. I got to get the wrench. All right. This time I actually found it right away. Look at me. Practically an expert. All right. Let's see here. Put this on. Connect that bolt. There's one in the front as well that I got. I can't quite see from here. There it is. There we go. And then we can put the belt back on. Belt is back on. So this should be a running engine. Well, well, minus that hose. What was that, the upper hose? It's probably the upper hose. There it is. Uh, upper hose, yep. Okay, we'll grab that, stick that on. Engine. Oh, we're already on an engine. Okay, so is it under you then? Upper hose. Got it. Upper hose. All right. Any second now, you're just gonna just gonna fit right in there. There we go. Okay, now wrench hunt. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna grab this and stick this on like that, and stick this on like that. 
All right, we need the wiper motor replaced. That's not a huge deal. We can do that on some other episode. But so far, everything's looking toasty. I think. All right, let's uh, bring it up a bit so it's not sitting on the... Oh, God, where's it going? All right. All right, let me see. Battery actually looks pretty good. So let's replace the fuel tank. There we go. That can go on the floor. All right, let's see. Fuel tank, where are you? You'll be under F. Oops, I just passed you. There we go. Gas tank. Where are you? Okay, you can go in here. This is an easy fix to a problem. Just one bolt. Done. Put the steering rack probably back in, I guess. Lift it back up here. Up we go. And this should be a running car. Although, every time I ever say that, I have then forgotten something that I got to deal with. And then I, I got to go search it out. So, at least we have all the, most of the parts laying around. All right. So, let's see here. Steering rack. Steering rack. So, first of all, I want to get the steering rack bolts. On. Oh, there's one. Got it. Got it. And then... I think it's just attaching the tie rod. So let's lower it down a bit. So I can see the top of that tie rod. Where, where, where'd you go? Why do they got to make this the hardest part to see on the whole thing? I don't understand. All right, here we go. Tie rod in. Got it. Tie rod in. Got it. Knuckles are all tied down. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's put the tires back on it. Bam. For now. Again, we need to uh, get better wheels and tires, but for now. Comment below which wheels you think I should get. I think I'm going to do a tribute to my Setsuma and put the fan style wheels on it. So let's uh, lower this back down. Up we go. Let's see here. Down we go. Oh, it's definitely sliding off on that side. So we have power steering fluid. That's good. Radiator fluid? Looks like uh, after removing that hose, we've lost it. So. We need radiator fluid. We're definitely going to need engine oil. And um, I guess that's brake fluid, not power steering fluid. I think that's oil coolant. Yeah, we should be good to go. Okay. So, Is there another traffic jam? Are you serious? Do I have to get my traffic calming box out? All right. Let me see. I need a thing of coolant. I need a two of these at least well, I think maybe one I uh, will get two okay now this doesn't mean this is gonna run great all this means is that it should it should run right I got everything bolted in I got most things bolted in all right let's just drop this for a second all right let's just open this up kind of hate these front tipping hoods man so much like, they look cool as shit. Don't get me wrong. They're just annoying to work with. All right, let's see here. Oh, no. There we go. I think that'll work. All right, let's fill this thing up with fluids and see where we're at. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, we're going to need fuel. We're going to need... Well, there's fuel in it, but I removed the tank, so we're going to need some kind of fuel. Oh my god, just pour the rest of the way out, fool. How long does this take? Are you serious? It's only four liters. I could have done this in about 30 seconds in real life. Let's go. Dude, why are you doing this to me? All right, here we go. 
And you can go in there. Oh, no. I said, you can go in there. All right, perfect. Where's the cap? Oh, no. Did I? Oh, is that the cap? That's the cap right there. Nice. Nice. Okay, this goes on here. I'll take this cap off and run and get our engine oil. I always buy two because, like, I think, I don't think one's enough. There we go. And then, well, we'll check. We'll pour one in. We'll see if it's between the hash marks, I guess. We'll go from there because you don't want to overfill it either, which I did on my other car, but I don't care. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, that's that's wrong. There we go. Okay, there we go. I think some of that's got to be getting in there. Perfect. Look at this. We're geniuses. Come on, fill up. I got, okay. Just stop, please. You know what? I got to go buy a prime rib today. I don't have time for this. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, where's the oil dipstick? There it is. I feel like that's okay. But you know what? Just for shits, I'm going to overfill it. <laughs> Just, I want to know because he's been changing some of the stuff. And I want to see if it does any damage. So, you know, actually, you know what? Forget it. It's got enough oil in it. Let's just call it a day. But I'll bring this over here to my shop. Put this here. Okay. So, we're definitely out of fuel. I had a fuel can once, but I think I, del I, I got rid of it. Let's clean up some of this mess for a second just so we can get uh, a little bit of extra cash money here. All right. Bam. All right. This is good. Oh, what happened? I all tabbed out of the game. Okay. So, oh yeah, fuel cap. That's or oil cap. That's going to go back on. Oil cap. Bam. Okay. Now, barring any spark plugs being shot, I think this should run. Well, it's currently not going to run anywhere because it doesn't have uh, fuel in it. But we can run over to the, the, the store there, push it over to the store. And probably put fuel in it. So, let's do that. I think this will put fuel in it. We're going to see. We'll put a bunch of fuel in it. See if she runs. Come on, baby. Hopefully the fuel gauge works so I can tell if there's fuel in it. Our Antony's price in gas today, by the way, was $1.55 a liter. <laughs> which, is, which is significant. All right, let's go pay for that. Oh, where's the cap? There it is. All right, put the cap back on. We'll go pay for this. It's not going to start because I've screwed something up for sure. But here we go. 16 bucks in fuel. All right. I should have seen at the shop at least crank, I guess, but we're going to go and figure that out right now. All right, here we go. Battery, we have fuel. And it runs. All right, let's take it for a little, can we turn the lights on? All right. Oh, nice. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Okay. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> She's a maniac. Whoa. Oh, no, no. Did we miss the fence? Okay, hopefully, hopefully we did. Okay, stop. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 that was close. All right. All right, so this guy's up and running and, and quite performative. All right, there we go. Let's got to remember to hit space bar to turn on the brakes. So it's doing its job. So now we just got to decide on rims and do the interior work and all that. And we should be good to go. Nice. Okay. It's nighttime again in my garage because it's always nighttime when I play. Are both all these lights head working? Oh my god, all the lights are working too, at least on the front. How about the rear? Those are working. Oh, we forgot to close the gas cap. Bloop. Long drive. All right. So, Bondo Bob's bumper fell off because I hadn't attached it <laughs> properly. Okay. So, this is good. I better turn those lights on so I don't burn out my battery. All right. There we go. Okay. What's happening? What? What? What happened? I'm in the back seat suddenly. Okay. You know how that is. 
You just sit in there one day and then you end up in the back seat. I think it does need all the hubcaps, obviously, if we want to run these rims, but I think I'm gonna go with a bigger wheel in that fan style, I think. I think I'm gonna use the fan style wheel. Anyway, yes. Um I'll show you. I'll go over there and show you. You know, I like I like I like the I like spoked rims. I really do. But if we can get this thing going on something different, just for something a little bit different, we're gonna do that. So it would be like these ones here, these fan style rims. I do like them. I do like them. They're not that expensive. My God, why are they so not expensive? So we can go 14, 15, or 16. But when I put the 16 inchers on the last time, it was all poking through the stuff. So maybe we'll try 16 inches again, see where that goes. We may do the springs. We'll tint the windows. We'll do the whole business. But I got to go. Because I got to go buy a prime rib. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment and maybe subscribe. If you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I am not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! Bondo Bob is just jealous. Because this car is so much cooler than him. But we still need to check the shock absorbers because it felt a little wonky on its handling. Out.